Molly Curum needs to be gone from first take. For the life of me, I don't know who thought it would be a good idea to have women in these type of debate shows. It's a barbershop talk format that was based around men in a barbershop talking about sports and women just don't belong in those type of settings. Guys, we're going to take a look at the clip and then I'm going to come back and get down on it. Thing. Sure. Also, Brian Dayball knows this. my livelihood, my coaching future is in this man's hand. Now, Daniel Jones, this is his third coach. This is his third coach, R mm -hmm. RG3. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know that, Stephen A. Everybody knows that. And that Brian Dayball's like, you're going to cost me my job because I vouch for you mm -hmm. getting this money. We had a great season. I don't Daniel know if Jones I is going to get that. Brian Dayball fired. Shannon, no. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like Dable has a lot of respect. What he did in Buffalo, I know Josh Allen looked great this past week, but we right. saw a step back when Dable had left. And then also, I think just winning coach of the year, I think people are going to separate it. They're not going to blame Daniel Jones' failures on Dable. Correct. Right, no, no, and, and, no, no. And, and, the coach has got to go. The coach, no, yeah, that's who no, gets fired. No, you got, no, 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 you no, 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 no. Why does Dable I'm not need saying, to go? I, hold on. So, you, in other words, you lose – they fire coaches. They don't get rid of 40 and $50 million quarterbacks, RG3. They, but they will in this situation because they have two years left until they can get out his contract. So they're going to be fully invested in the guy that got the most out of him was Brian Dable. What they have to do right now is figure out ways to start games faster. In the first half this year, they're being outscored 77 to 9. 77 to 9. But, but, what do we have to do without on, Saquon? Shannon. Hold on, Shannon, because here's the deal. Shannon's right. I think that, listen, not in, in terms of, we're not talking about Brian Dable getting fired this year. What he's right. saying is that ultimately the head coach is going to be held accountable. Because what yes. happens is, especially, Molly, in the New York market, okay, you do, we love Brian Dable thus far, okay, right. but if they continue to look the way that they look, and they got people like Shannon and RG3 dissecting it with a fine-tooth comb and pointing out the litany of errors that have taken right. place no. evolving around the quarterback, right? right? Then you lean on the fact that you told us we should invest this money in this quarterback, <laughs> but look what the hell is happening. Of course, not right now. No. But it, 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 like, let's say, for example, if we sit here next year and it's the same situation because this season is an atrocity right. and then next year starts off equally as bad, at, at some point, you're going to look at the coach. No one ever thought No one ever thought Daniel Jones was that dude. They just didn't have a better option. And no one thought Saquon was going to be hurt. I wouldn't connect what? I wouldn't connect Dable to Daniel Jones My, at all. Eventually. Mom, think about what you just said. I'm saying they refused to pay Saquon, and now you're saying Saquon being hurt. What does Saquon have to do if Daniel Jones is getting $40 million? He's got to deliver you. He's supposed to be your Moses, not Saquon. I think... I think they didn't have a better option, and that's why they paid. See, guys, all I hear is a bunch of baritone voices. Rur, 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 rur. And then I hear, yip, 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 yip. then I hear, rur, 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 rur. then I hear, yip, 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 yip. and man, to be honest with you, man, that shit is annoying, man. That's annoying, bro. I mean, some of you guys like that kind of stuff, and that's nothing more than a masculine woman amongst men trying to voice her opinion, trying to talk like they always like to do. And some of you guys are attracted to, the, to those type of women. And to be honest with you, man, if you're attracted to that type of stuff, that reeks of feminine. That, think, that reeks that you have some feminine energy inside of you. Because if you're masculine, you can't stand that type of stuff. That's nothing worse than a bunch of men sitting around talking and there's a lady trying to interject her opinion. That's why women don't belong on those type of shows. It's okay if a woman wants to talk sports. Fine. Go over there and talk sports with other women. See, guys, when my aunties and my mama them, used to see a bunch of men in the room talking, they would get up and leave. They didn't want to be amongst men and, and, and listening to that men conversation. That's just like my father when he seen a bunch of women standing around the kitchen table talking, drinking coffee. He'd go outside and start doing something. He didn't want to be around those women because I just can't stand and he couldn't stand just to hear women just chirping at each other. We, we don't belong in those type of conversations because it's a different dynamic. Now, you listen to that Shannon Sharp talk and you listen to that Stephen A talk. And a lot of it is it, the dynamic is that 
you know, you're going from trying to prove your point to trying to protect her feelings. Because just like Shannon was raising his voice, I guarantee you, you know, she's starting to feel some kind of way. If you don't believe me, get into a back and forth woman. It, you go, then she go. Then you go, then she go. After that, guys, I'm telling you, she finna get into her feelings. Especially if you're online debating some kind of uh, uh, conversation or topic, eventually the name calling is going to come out. Or she's going to get real, real short and snappy with you. That's just the dynamic. Men don't do that. When we debate, hey, sometimes we might be insulted. But men don't mean insults just like women, when they compliment each other, they don't really mean the compliments. And women get emotionally caught up in mostly negative things. Unlike men, we get emotionally caught up in positive things. That's just like, like a lot of you guys like to run around and constantly tell women how beautiful they are. Oh, go, you're just so gorgeous. You're just so beautiful. And you think that has an effect. Most of the time, that don't have no effect on a woman, man. Because women, they don't, they don't uh, get emotionally wrapped up into complimentary things. They get mostly wrapped up into negative things. That's why you can compliment a woman a hundred times and give her one insult. She'll swear to God that you're abusive. She'll swear to God that you're abusive, guys. And see, I'm not going to tell you this woman is. And, and, well, I say this, man. She comes off on, on television as, with this personality uh, around the guys that, you know, you know, have y'all ever seen like guys that stand around the liquor store? Some guys, if you're in the country, they have a bunch of chairs out there and every day they meet up. Every day. These are guys that like to drink a lot. Most of them don't have no job. And if they do have a job, they work when they want to. But most of the time, they, they sit around a tree, sit around a liquor store, and just, just bull jive and talk. And there's always a woman around. There's always a woman around. Always talking, want to be a part of the men conversation. And on Monday, she's sitting on Henry lap. By Thursday, she's sitting on Marcus's lap. Well, this is how Molly Curran comes off. Now, I'm not saying that that's how she is, or but that's how she comes off. And she likes and, and she likes to dress up in these uh these outfits that's not appropriate to be around a bunch of men. That's why it goes back to her reminding me of the woman that sits on Henry lap on Monday, and by Thursday she's on Marcus's lap. You know, that's 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 those that those, those I call those the pass around women. Now, to a lot of y'all, she's a beautiful woman. She's not a beautiful woman to me because of how she carry herself on national TV. She's not beautiful. It, it's, it's that persona she gives off. She gives off that he done been with her, he done been with her, she done been over here, she done been over there, and now I got her. And see, guys, I, 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 I'm just not built like that. I'm just not built like that, man. And those type of women, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't even get aroused if I was around her. A lot of y'all, oh, man, she on TV, man. She good to look at. Nah, man, nah, she ain't good to look at to me. She ain't good to look at to me. I'm going to tell you that right now. She ain't good to look at to me. She just looked like a woman that done been had. Now, I'm not saying that she has been had. I'm not saying that she's going through men up there at ESPN. I'm not saying that. But that's how she coming off. Look at the dresses she's wearing. And then this fool, Terrell, Terrell Day, man, I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. Don't try to hike that ball between that woman's leg, man. You finna get fired soon. Then you might get your ass thrown in jail, man. What's wrong with you, brother? You know better than that, man. You know better than that, brother. Man, I, I don't know, man, because she come off, man, as one of them women that, you know, hey, in February, man, she flirtatious. By March, she got interested for somebody else. By April, man, she up in the HR, man, filing a sexual harassment complaint on you, man. Just like that. Just like that, bro. So, you know, hey, th that's that's what she come out. Man, she's supposed to be a moderator, man. And what and what allegedly she's supposed to be doing, I don't know why she even on the show in the first place. And they be like, well, I don't want to call for the woman to get fired. Man, I don't worry about her getting fired. Hell, she never should have been on there in the first place, so she couldn't get fired. So, but she now she on there, now she deserve to be fired. These type of women ain't good for nothing but sideline reporting, man. Sideline reporting. That's all you need to be. Sideline reporting, and that's it. Because 
being up there talking amongst the men, that ain't where it's at. That ain't where it's at. And 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 and, and you can see just how when when she did that um that segment with LeBar Ball, man, and she said, "Well, let's shift gears." He said, "I can shift gears anytime with you." And then, hey, 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 automatically that was some tension in the room, man. And I can guarantee you, man, deep down inside, she's like, oh, this sexual harassment, this sexual harassment. Just like when Stephen A. were talking about, about that, that vibrating phone, talking about Molly's phone is ringing and, 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 and the vibrator thing. See how they turn that real quick, man? That's why women are not supposed to be amongst men because men got a tiptoe. When, when we talking to each other, we ain't got a tiptoe. We just say what we got to say, man. We got that mutual respect, man. We can just say what we got to say. and We ain't got to worry about all that happening, man. But you got somebody up, like, up there like that wearing them kind of outfits and things like that, man. That's just not ladylike. She's she's just not acting ladylike. And I'm going to tell you about these type of women, man. You get yourself caught up in these type of women, and then you come out, the woman that took you down through the stringer, man. And 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 before you know it you you want us to feel sorry for you but we ain't finna feel sorry for you because i'm warning you right now i'm warning you right now a lot of y'all like these type of women a lot of y'all are attracted to these type of women and 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 you just need to look at yourself man just need to look at yourself she goes on there and 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 another thing man I ain't put the picture up there, but uh, it's it's the other lady, man. I don't know what her name is, but she got on them skimpy outfits too. And always the cameraman, I think somebody did a, a video about this. She they always catch her on the walk off, man, with showing her showing her ass and showing the shape of her body and all that, man. Uh, it, it's just to get you caught up, man. It, it's a lot of you guys are so uh uh, it's act y'all act like y'all ain't never seen a beautiful woman before. And y'all let beautiful women become the ruler of your life. And it don't matter how much money you got. It don't even matter what your status. Look at all these athletes that get caught up with beautiful women. They go and, and, and man, they lose out on millions of dollars in divorces, man, and allowing these women to, to, to come into their life and de totally destroy. Totally destroy you. Because it don't matter how, how you look, guys. Don't matter how much money you got. Or how savvy you think you is man. once a woman find a weak spot in you it's just like water man once a water find a, a weak spot it's gonna come through it's gonna it's gonna find its way through once she find a weak spot in you and she find that femininity in you she gonna start operating on you just like she she's a surgeon man she gonna start operating on that one spot operating on that thing when she get it right where she wanted she gonna take you down through the woods man she gonna take you right down through the woods and ain't nothing you gonna be able to do about it because it's in, it's in a woman's DNA. Once they find weakness in a man, they seek and destroy you. They seek and destroy you. Now, I don't know if that's the wrong way to be, but that's just how women are. That's why you can't be showing no weakness. And I ain't saying walk around with your fist ball up or trying to run, run your home with an iron fist. That ain't going to work either. You just have to mean what you say, say what you mean, and have your boundaries and stick to your boundaries and always be willing to walk away. Don't never let yourself get in a position where you can just you can't walk away from a woman. I'm telling you, especially these kind of women. Like I say, I don't know this woman personally. I don't. But she's on she's on national TV. So I can have my opinion on how she comes off as a woman and what she say and the things that she do. You put yourself on national TV. Then us as people who watch TV, watch the uh, uh, social media, watch the Internet, we got a right to, to, to make an opinion. So that's what I'm doing. But the way she comes off, man, I'm telling you, if you get yourself caught up with these kind of women, this you will end up. Man, look at look at uh, what's his name, man. Uh, what's my man name? Uh, Jalen Rose. What I think that was his wife at one point. If I'm not mistaken, that was his wife at one point. Then rumors came out about her and Stephen A. So, man, well, that smoke, that's fire, bro. And, and you can look at the way she carry herself. You can just look at the way she carry, and then, you know, it'll make you pause. When people tell you rumors like that, because sometimes, man, rumors tend to be true. Rumors tend to be true, just like what's going on with Dwight Howard right now. That was rumors, but now, under, uh, under, uh, under, uh, under oath, that boy had to come out and tell everybody, man, he been right here sleeping with men, man. 
He been around here sleeping with men, man. He tried. He tried to back out of it. <laughs> he tried to. He tried to back out that thing, man. That boy around his. <laughs> that boy around here sleeping with women, man. He just couldn't wait to come out, man. He just couldn't wait, but he, he just couldn't wait. It was oozing. Finally, man, it just. It, it, he ain't had no choice, man. He ain't want to. He ain't want to get hit with that R word. So hey, man, he might well. He had to. He had to juggle between the two. Do I want to get hit with the R word, or do I need to say what I need to say to get myself out of this part? So he went on, jumped out there, and said, "Hey, man, <laughs> you know I've been, you know, you know, you know." But rumors tend to be true, and rumor was, you know, hey, she will mess around with Stephen A. Or, or she has her eyes on Stephen A. So you know, it's just the way it carry, or the way she carries herself. It make me say, you know what? Hmm, that's something to think about, man. That's something to think about. And I could tell right now, uh, she's always want to ha have opinions about something. So, man, yeah, you he, he in the marriage, she always going to want to try to tell him, always got something to say, always want to argue the point. I could tell that's just probably how she was in a marriage. And people say, I heard this a lot, guys. Uh, you, you have these uh, women that say attractive women have problems getting men yeah they do have problems getting men and it says a lot about a lot of them because it, it just tell you they're very undisciplined and uh sometimes you can have so many options until you don't have any options at all you know you want to run from man to man yeah a lot of them choose men based on their looks and financial find uh, uh your financial status but uh it boils down to morals and values and a lot of them, a lot of guys that look the part, has the financial wealth, they have no idea how to deal with women. Yeah, they money can and status can get them going from woman to woman to woman. But it don't matter how much financial status you have and matter uh, uh, how uh, what your celebrity status is. Once that woman find out your weakness, man, find out what you care about the most, she's going to go after that like a lion. She's gonna, That's why you'll never tell a woman. Or, uh, or you don't never let a woman know what you care about the most. Because I promise you, whenever her feelings get in a certain place or she start feeling a certain way about you, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, she'll try to take that away from you, to control you, to manipulate you. Why do you think women use children all the time to manipulate men? They use them because they found your weakness. They want to take your car. They want to take your cars and your houses and your bank account away because you know that's gonna hurt you. That's what you care about. That if you care about it, you better protect it with all with everything you got. Protect it with everything you got and anything she can touch. You don't let her know that you care about it. Cause once that happens, she gonna when she smell blood, it's over, man. I don't care how much that woman tell you she love you. I don't care how much that woman tell you or uh, she care about you. Oh, you my best friend. You my everything, man. She just talking about how she feel right now that's all she's doing women love to indulge in the moment in their feelings at the moment they love doing that man they love it and once their feelings are not there they can come up with every kind of excuse every kind of justification why they don't feel that way no more and if you if you on the side where you can't see your life moving without that woman then you up shit creep bro i hate to tell you that so don't let these guys out here man like chad johnson tell them tell you that a woman can make your life uh this and make your life there yes they can enhance it man they can enhance it a little bit but that's just like going from uh uh, uh eight going from 4k back to 1080p man still can watch the tv you still can enjoy a good movie just might not be in 4k man you still can enjoy the movie you still can get you some popcorn you still can get you a beer you still can get whatever you get you something to drink man whatever you whatever you do man you can still do that but if you get if you if you the type of guy that the woman is the television man she takes the chance. when she turn off man you ain't got nothing to watch cuz you you done yeah you done man you just sitting in the room you ain't got nothing to watch he, man you better hope you got a good book in that thing better hope you got a good book but that's just how these type of women are and and as you see most of them go from men to men to men they can't take one man and be disciplined and stay with that guy and a lot of time uh uh they choose these guys just like what i say man they financially status financially stable have the celebrity status but they become weak once they get with her oh she's such a beautiful woman man she's just a beautiful woman baby you my everything you this you that once you start telling a woman she your everything it's over man it's over
and you say, well, man, how you going to love a woman? How you going to be in a relationship? It's easy, man. You can love a woman. You, she just can't be your everything. Only, your only thing need to be your everything is God. If, if, if God is your everything or whoever you believe in, man, if that's your everything, that's what you need to stick with. You don't need to be sticking with that. Mm -mm. It's all right to care for. It's all right to do nice things for a woman. But you can't but you can't be out here doing too many nice things that come in moderation. You know, that come in moderation. Just like compliments. Man, you down there got to twist my arm to give, give, give a woman a compliment. She sent me a picture, man. I'm probably going to tell her, man, that's a nice shirt. <laughs> Oh man, I'm some nice area. I like that color. I ain't finna be sitting up here. Oh, you hey gorgeous, you just so beautiful, man. Man, man, it, that's oh, I ain't finna be doing all that. I ain't finna be doing it. Oh, you just so gorgeous. I ain't finna be doing that, guys. That's just not me, man. That's just ain't me. But because this very moment she started seeing that, hmm, this dude him, he thinks I'm everything. He can't live without me. Soon as she get in, in, in her mood, she gonna start a, she gonna start a, to to load test you. See how disrespectful she can be. Once she start a little bit, the little bit gonna turn into a lot. Once she see you give in into a, a decision, cause once a woman get into her mind, she wanna do something, man. She throw everything into it, everything, and she wanna move fast. Everything is fast, fast, fast. If anybody, if any of y'all know this, man, know this. When a woman get in a relationship, she wanna see how fast you can fall in love. Then she wants to see how fast she can go get married. Then she wants to see how fast she can go buy a house. They want to just go fast. They don't want to take it slow, see how everything going to work out because they overestimate themselves all the time. They overestimate themselves, and they think just because I'm feeling this way, everything can go a 1,000 miles an hour, and I want it all. I want every single thing. It ain't good enough for me to have a little bit. I got to have it all, full force, full force. And then she wants you to be every her everything her everything you can be 90 percent of what she want and 10 percent of what she don't want she'll focus on the 10 percent she'll go chasing after the man that only has the 10 percent she'll go chasing after the man that only has the 10 percent but you got to be careful man you got to be careful at, at dating women like uh marley, marley karen and being obsessed or with those type of women and and as as us men we we should have been stepped up man and said man we don't want her on tv no more man she go find something else to do man she, you like to look good go on facebook and start your instagram account get some followers you get your money back but we don't want to see you on the on, on the sports show no more we don't want to see none of y'all man y'all go back to being sideline reporter because you don't belong amongst a bunch of bunch uh uh, uh belong uh, uh, amongst a bunch of men debating on sports topics because it just don't work that well. And men, a lot of times, can't even be themselves on those shows. Anyway, guys, I'm out.